Hello, my name is Todd and this is to show you how to use an app which is connected to one of our admin consoles. They're all pretty much the same. If yours varies slightly from this, don't worry, the underlying functionality doesn't change. So this is the settings page and at the top you can see the sent button so that you can have a look at all of the reports that you have previously created and sent. Below that, the save button, so any report that you have started to create and not finished and saved, you will find there so you can finish it off. Unsent. This will usually be where you have created and completed a report being, but been unable to send it, because probably because there was no network. Um, it will keep the correct location and time data, so simply take a look in settings and open the unsent file and send it when you have a network restored. Update profile is your information. Contact us comes straight through to me, so feel happy to contact me about anything that's troubling you. Manage your signature so that you can set it up so you don't have to sign it individually each time. And then you can switch the torch on and off, depending on the light levels. So let's go through and have a look at an actual um, recording. You can create a report with a checklist or without a checklist. Let's have a look at with. Here I've just got one demo in. The checklists come from the admin console, of course, and you give it a name. Then it's simply a question of going through the checklist. So in this case, it's a vehicle. Um, if everything is okay, you just click on okay. If you want to add it to video, if you find an issue, so if there's a problem with the wheels, I'm gonna add that to video. Um, I can uh, denote that some action or follow-up is required, um, or I can add a comment, all of which carries forward to the report page. Now, if you see a defaulted tick, that means that head office is telling you that you have to add a video for that particular um, item, which in that case um, is the recording of the mileage and the fuel level on a vehicle and so on until you've gone through the full report. I usually have at the end any other issues because that um, covers anything else which may not be included on the itemized checklist. At this point, I can go through. And now I see a short list of the items that have an issue related to them and need to have a, re a video recording. Normally, I would uh, first click on this one and do one at a time. Then I would put it into landscape, well, it's in landscape mode, uh, it's in portrait mode at the moment. I'll put it into landscape mode for the recording. It just looks a lot better when it's played back that way. But for this presentation, I'll leave it as it is. Start the video. Now you'll see the speak now message at the top. It's really important that you talk about whatever it is that you're recording um, and explain to whoever's watching why there's an issue, say for example, with the wheels. Then I stop. Now I can set up my second video, which is to record the mileage and the fuel level. When I'm ready, I start that. These videos will automatically be edited together when they appear on the report page. So it just gives you a break between each item so you can set each one up. I can either press stop or end when I've completed the whole thing. And this takes me through to the page where I can add um, um, a recipient. Now, some apps do not have the option to add recipients because every report goes back to admin. And in the case of some of the apps, we only want the reports to go back to admin to add more information. So if you don't have the opportunity to add any uh, email addresses, don't worry. awkward doing this with this setup but okay now we're done so you just pop in the customer's uh, email address or whoever you want to uh, uh, to see the report click on submit then there's the signature
which you can set up in advance and send a report. Leave it switched on until that message has cleared and it's been sent, and that's it. You've created a report.